Now let's talk a little bit about this top 25 list from Kick Genius. Anybody that wants to play 1v1, I am not afraid. I will take on anybody. Whew, what's up, Baller Nation? I'm out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs like 10 times looking for this camera. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm eating like a sandwich on the way out, running late as always, right there. Crushing the sandwich and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Troy and hit the gym. I'm gonna go eat dinner with my parents tonight. Uh, I also have a clinic to run today. I gotta plan that out and we're just gonna go to the gym, get a quick workout in right now, play some one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully I can get a lot of footage for you guys today and I wanna start getting you guys one-on-one -on -one footage so that you can see me play one-on-one, -on -one, see my style, whatever, maybe pick a few things up and maybe see me lose a few times too. We'll see, we'll find out. But anyways, stay tuned for today's video and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, we made it to the gym now, and Troy, I told Troy, there's Troy. Say what's up. Hey, what's I, uh, I told him that I was gonna tell him something funny about this YouTube world. Okay, so, here's what's going on. All these YouTubers now are releasing videos saying who are the top 25 best basketball YouTubers. Like, hoopers, like, okay. who's got game. Yeah. So, yesterday, I watched the video top 25. Your boy's not even in there. You're not in there? No. So anyways, what I'm gonna go, go ahead and start doing is posting more one-on-one -on -one videos. Maybe posting some game footage. Okay, I gotta get some pickup games. It's hard to get that stuff filmed, but one-on-one -on -one I can set up a tripod. Uh, and yeah, anyways, so stay tuned. One-on-one -on -one footage coming. And me and Troy have played our fair game of one-on-one. -on -one. So we're, you know, probably, what would you say, about 50-50? Yeah, maybe 60-40. Since the beginning. Me. Lately, I, okay, I got you last time, but I would say we're about 50-50. You got me the time for that pretty good. So anyways, yeah, so we'll, I'll definitely be posting some of that, but if you guys want more one-on-one -on -one videos, make sure you guys hit the like button to let me know, and let me know in the comments as well. Good switch. Five makes. Good, just a little spin is needed. So now I'd like to just walk you through uh, one of the form shooting drills Troy and I do on a regular basis. the sweatiest you've probably ever seen me I don't know you probably can't even tell on camera but uh, yeah we just got it in we played some one-on-one -on -one and we got uh, a little workout in of course you saw some clips from it and now we're just gonna head back to the crib and I'm gonna get ready for this clinic coming up later uh, with the kids here in Atascadero so I got to plan it out and I'll try my best to get you guys some footage from the clinic but it's hard because I start getting crazy and running around once it starts but anyways about to hop back in the car get some grub and I'll see you guys soon and as far as the video by Kick Genius, the best 
basketball YouTubers, and he's not the only one that came out with it and didn't put me on the list. I will give you my opinion on that and talk a little bit more about that later in the video, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm almost done planning for the clinic today. Here it is, as you can see. Um, so the word of today is presence, and we're gonna talk about court presence, one who owns the basketball court, one who is confident, one who commands the floor, one who shines by just walking in the room, and that's an important one. One who shines by just walking in the room. That is uh, what basically I'm gonna be stressing to these guys is when they walk into the gym, come shake hands, eye contact, make your presence. Then we're going into full court layups, okay? Now these are actually full court speed layups, speed dribble, protect dribble. Um, then we're gonna do our triple threat lines, which is just straight triple threat work uh, into a rondo, 360 pivot, 180 pivot, uh, different dribble moves, rocker, jab cross, all that kind of stuff. We have a one-on-one -on -one turn you real quick to work on our triple threat. Dribble limit, of course, and then we go right into our 10-minute stations. And then the demo for today, and real quick, I told you guys the other day that I'm really trying to crack the code on how to get beginners better. And one of the things that I've learned is you gotta teach them. I need to get going, I need to plan this. I'm gonna run by the store real quick and get some prizes for today so I can give out some prizes. Uh, and yeah, should be a good one. All right, time to do my least favorite thing and that's pack up this little beast right here. I gotta pack up. Uh, I got a bunch of equipment I gotta bring, a bunch of basketballs and uh, that's my least favorite thing to do, but I'm gonna oh, go ahead and run to the store real quick, the grocery store. I'm gonna grab some, some ground beef and stuff, stuff for hamburgers because we're all gonna go and grab hamburgers after me, Troy, and my parents over at my parents' house. So anyways, about to hop in the car and I gotta get to this clinic. All right, so you saw that I just got some gummy bears, some M&Ms, and you're like, those are some weak prizes, man. But you gotta understand that these are like twice a week clinics that are 90 minutes each, just little short ones. They're basically like practices, right? And uh, I'm giving out prizes and stuff and we're doing little competitions every time. That's pretty cool, I think the kids like it. But um, I'm not gonna go crazy. Like for the camps, the, the week long camps, we got way better prizes and stuff, giving out heavy balls, jump ropes and that kind of stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna take those to the clinic now. I just gotta drop off the meat and I'll be right at the clinic. So I'll show you guys some footage at the clinic. All right, we just got done eating. Everything was good, went good, had some burgers. All right, everybody, this is Alex right here. As you, as you can see, he's rocking the baller boot camp shirt. If you guys go ahead and get this video to, let's say, 300 likes, I'll go ahead and get a workout in with Alex and we'll drop that, we'll film it. <laughs> Coach Troy over there that you guys might recognize. All right, it's time to get right into that good stuff, finally. Thank you guys for watching this far. Now let's talk a little bit about this top 25 list from Kick Genius and all these other top basketball YouTuber lists that have been floating around. So the real problem arises when we try to classify what a basketball YouTuber is. So Mr. Kick Genius himself, Trey, he said at the beginning of his that he wasn't going to include certain players. He didn't want to include certain YouTubers such as the professor such as Jeremy Lin, he categorized in that same category. And with Jeremy Lin, I totally understand. I wouldn't put him on my list either because he's in the NBA, right? He's an NBA player, he played at Harvard and went to the league, dropped 40 in the league. So yeah, of course, I'm not gonna include Jeremy Lin or any other NBA players. Kevin Durant's got a YouTube channel on my list. But when it comes to the professor, I'm putting him on my list because he is a YouTuber. He is a basketball YouTuber. He's used the YouTube platform. He gets a ton of views on here. It's because of YouTube that he is still famous and still pursuing this professional basketball career to some extent. He's not just gonna stop uploading YouTube content all of a sudden. He's in it for the long haul. He's a basketball YouTuber and then he goes on to say that he's not gonna include people like coach rock or shot mechanics because he said he, there's just not enough footage of them actually hooping on YouTube and they're just kind of a different category right they're tutorial based now this is where a lot of you guys were saying that I fall into that category so what I say to that is that how does Dre Baldwin then make top 10 if Dre Baldwin doesn't create basketball tutorials then I don't know who does okay yeah maybe I fall into that category but honestly why is that a category not included? Okay, that's 
YouTube content. Some of those guys are doing crazy views with the tutorial stuff. So I don't understand why you wouldn't want to consider the whole thing. You're talking about basketball YouTubers. They definitely would be included in my list. Plus, I'm not just strictly tutorial based. I have workout videos on my channel. I got motivational videos on my channel. I have vlogs like this one on my channel. So you got to give me a little bit of credit for that if you're just going to say, oh, we're doing no tutorial kind of trainers. And then after I watched the video, I was like, well, maybe I don't have enough subs on my channel or whatever. So I checked out a few the other people on the list and I saw that actually I had more subs than some of the people on the list so it wasn't that so yeah I understand the theory behind why I wasn't included I'm not dumb but at the same time it's like you're gonna go and create a non bias list then why wouldn't you create one that includes all youtubers and the ones that are the best at basketball I need to go create my own list now so if you want that make sure you hit that like button let's get it to 300 likes and I'll go ahead and do that as well and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently I'm gonna base mine based on credentials okay what have you done you can research that kind of stuff where did you play college ball etc I'm gonna base it on what I've seen on YouTube as far as how your jumper looks what kind of game you have uh, and you can tell that in tutorials, but obviously game film. If you have game film online, I'm going to check out your game film. And I'm going to go ahead and put together my list and see if any of these other guys even end up on it. And my list is going to be a little bit different. It's just going to have a few rules. Rule number one, you got to have at least 100K subs to be on this list. Rule number two, you have to have at least 100 videos on your channel to be on this list on YouTube. Rule number three, you can't be in the NBA. Okay, You can't be an NBA player or just be big on YouTube because you're some sort of celebrity. So I think I need to like rearrange the way these lists are made up because they're obviously all saying unbiased, but they, I feel like they are biased, right? Especially if you're not including all these other kind of categories of basketball players. And I'm not here to call anybody out, but I am not afraid to play 1v1 or play fives with any YouTubers on YouTube. I would even be willing to do a 1v1, no edits, no cuts, straight through against anybody. So if anybody wants it, Get in contact with me and we can make that happen. LA is not too far, I can drive down, just let me know. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start posting some 1v1 stuff on the channel so you guys can check it out. So maybe I can start building up some credibility in these guys' minds so they can actually get me Jester the Laser, I wanna hook up one time. Christopher London, let's hoop. Kick Genius, let's get in the gym. Any of you guys, if you're a Baller Bootcamp follower and there's anybody you want me to play, we need to get their attention. So get on their Instagram, tag me on one of their comments, tell them to play me or to challenge me in a one-on-one -on -one game. We'll make that happen. And I'm willing to go no edits, no cuts, all that kind of stuff too. Oh my bad, and one final thing, just because I'm talking about Kick Genius does not mean I haven't seen Howard Leet's video, I haven't seen Soul Illuminati's video, Cash Nasty's video. All you guys have videos and you guys all left me out. No big deal, but if we see each other in the gym, we are gonna get a one-on-one -on -one game and then you can tell me who deserves to be on the list. So all right guys, if you like this video, make sure you guys click that like button. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. There's a link you can click on the screen right now to go watch another one of my videos. I recommend you do that and I'll see you guys in the next video.